Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about the trauma gem that I found streaming on Amazon called Butt Crack. I would expect nothing less. I love you, Lloyd Kaufman. This movie starts out with a guy and his girlfriend who uh, are having a beautiful romantic moments, only to be um, interrupted by the guy's roommate who unfortunately just can't get the hang of belts or buying pants in his right size, so his butt crack is always out, to the point where this very overdramatic girlfriend vomits because of his butt crack, because God forbid you see a butt crack. The guy has all intentions of proposing to his girlfriend and is trying to find the perfect time to do it. However, <laughs> butt crack guy just kind of I'd say cock block with a butt crack every attempt. So he enlists a friend to take butt crack out to the movies so he would have time with his special lady to propose, you know, drink some champagne as you do. And guy comes home. For some reason, he thinks that the guy taking him out to the movie is for some reason romantically interested in him, which is not the case at all. He's just doing his buddy a solid to get him out of the house. But Crack goes, ends up coming home, takes a bath, and unfortunately dies in an accident where the radio falls into the bathtub, which is kind of the roommate's fault. At the funeral, the Butt Crack's funeral, that is, we find out that his sister is a voodoo priestess who puts a curse upon the guy saying if butt crack is uttered 12 times in one breath, then he will come back from the dead and rain his revenge, which of course now engaged couple, the fiance just can't help but express her disgust for the most recently deceased by saying his, you know, moniker 12 times in one breath. We'll just, we'll just leave it off here as it is spoiler free. Oh, trauma. What did I like about this movie? I like how ridiculous it is, how you just, you knew the trauma name was following it. I'm just, I, I could write a love letter to trauma, and I should, because you'd probably appreciate it. But very low budget, all the jokes that you would expect, all of the humor you would expect. So that's great. I like that this is kind of a zombie resurrection story with a very silly twist. Because you need a little silly in your life. I thought that the, you know, the pacing was alright. It didn't seem like anything was too stretched out. What did I dislike about this movie? Um, the, the fake vomit scene was disgusting. I'm not a fan of vomit. That's a personal preference. I don't know anyone that is a fan of vomit. But... Um, some of the, the resurrection scenes I thought could have been done a little differently. It was literally just him coming out of dirt. And they could have mixed it up a bit. They could have made it a little more gross, a little more gory, a little more bloody. Even if, you know, he didn't die super bloody, he died in the bathtub, they could have done something really cool with the effects that way, which I would have appreciated. <sighs> what do I rate this movie? I give this probably two out of five. It's not my favorite trauma movie. It's definitely not my least favorite trauma movie. It is uh, in a league of its own, I would say, because I've never seen um, Night of the Living butt crack before. So, interesting. I found it streaming on Amazon Prime. I'm sure it is available streaming in other platforms. I don't know that there would be a physical copy. Perhaps there is. Who knows? Collectors, keep your eyes out. Uh, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? What's your favorite trauma movie of all time? I'd like to... Like, I, I love trauma, and I think I should probably incorporate that more into my reviews in the future. But, yeah. Like the video if you did like the video. Ring the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And I'm... Oh, kitty cat. I have a podcast on iTunes thanks to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their creators. They're super awesome. 
and I'm gonna get my butt crack out of here. Bye guys. Thank you.